there, friends. Welcome. Welcome to Home Keepers. So glad to have you with us today. And I hope everything's going really, really good for you. And you can never forget that this is the day that the Lord has made. Whether it's snowing or whether the sunshine is out or whatever's going on, uh, that's something probably we should consider every single morning. Well, if you watch Home Keepers regularly, you know that we offer a product called the uh, Young Power Shake and have had outstanding, extraordinary types of uh, testimonies because of this product. And it's not a new thing. It's an old thing that has been made better. And it's a combination of uh, proteins and fats that your body really needs. And Dr. John Young has put this all together uh, to make it convenient and give you a lot of latitude what you put in it. And we've shown you that many times. Well, today I'm bringing you a guest, Mr. John uh, Wheeler, who is an advanced registered nurse practitioner. He has his own business and certainly been in the medical field a long time. But when he met uh, Dr. John Young, it, it changed his life. Uh, they happen to be going to the same church. And Mr. Wheeler had some real physical problems that um, just really kind of slow you down in life. And I think that you can relate to so many of these problems that he had. And he uh, met Dr. Young and Dr. Young told him all about this power shake and he began to take it. And I want you to hear his story. But please know that throughout the program, there will be information and a number on your screen. You can call any time to order the Young Power Shake. And uh, by doing so, you're helping homekeepers, but also the guests I've had on that have testified to the uh, outcome of this, this shake, uh, I can just very gladly tell you about it with a lot of confidence. And so I hope that you'll listen carefully to what he has to say. And maybe you've heard some of the other testimonies about the Young Power Shake and um, Maybe this time you'll think maybe maybe you'd like to try it because it really is a life changer. So I um, want you to meet Mr. Wheeler and um, I'll be talking to him. He came into the studio just a few days ago and we sat down and talked. And so this is our conversation. And then uh, I will be back at the end of the program. Meet Mr. Wheeler. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Well, welcome, Mr. John Wheeler. Thank so you. glad to have you today, and uh, we're going to talk about your experience with the uh, Young Power Shake, but um, you've been in the medical field for well over 20 years, no. and we're going to educate the people a little bit. You are an advanced registered nurse practitioner. That's correct. And as I understand it, that's pretty close to an MD. Well, it, it, we're called a lot of things. We're called <laughs> physicians extenders. We're called mid-level providers. Um, but basically, depending upon what area that the nurse practitioner works, uh, whether it's in a specialty, I work in primary care general practice. Mm -hmm. And so in that position, in that setting, we basically do the same things that physicians do. It may be different for a person who is a nurse practitioner working in, let's say, a cardiovascular area. But in general primary care, we do the same so thing. So they could kind of be specialized as well. Yes, yeah. they can. And now, um, how did you meet our good friend, uh, Dr. John Young? Well, John and I go to the same church together, actually. Mm -hmm. And I met him, um, oh, about seven years ago. And um, when he came to the church. And uh, we met, had obviously some things in common, and got to talking. And uh, he, um, made some recommendations, which I basically ignored. <laughs> and, and then uh, after he made them so frequently, 
I finally uh, told him that, sure, John, I'll pay attention. If once I read what you suggest I read, if it, I think you're out of like on line here, I'll, I'll tell you so, and yeah. we'll go on about our business. And so that's how I met John. He's a great yeah, guy. Yeah, and I want to digress just a little bit. You and I have something in common, I found out. We both come from a family just riddled with preachers. <laughs> yes, my, as I was saying earlier, my father was one of seven boys, and five of them were ministers, and my grandfather, his father, had um, a number of brothers, and out of there, there were a number of ministers where I found people who had been baptized by cousins I'd never met. I, I just uh, felt that instant kinship with you. Okay, let's get back to Dr. Young. Uh, you were not in the peak of health at the time, we could say, when you met him. You, you had some real physical problems. Now, did he bring that up? No, uh, actually, I, as far as my health was concerned, I, I really was in good health. I've never really had, I don't take any medications and I never have. My issue was is that I had two things going that were problematic. Mm -hmm. Well, I should say three. One was I was grossly overweight. Uh -huh. And I come from a long line of, you know, genetics rules. And I, I come from a long line of family on my mother's side, very large folks. And so I was, I was significantly overweight. Uh, the second thing was that I suffered seriously from migraines. Mm -hmm. And then third, I had uh, a lot of aches and pains. It was just a, those were the th issues in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I never had high blood pressure, Not cholesterol Not life-threatening, but didn't no, feel that great. No, I just was, you know, it was just difficult with the, the migraines and with the aches and pains. Yeah, when I <coughs> was doing some research about you and your practice, <coughs> I had never noticed the term genetics wedded to obesity. And how, how does that play in to um, people who really, they really have to fight it? Sure. See, let me say it this way. Both, my, both sides of my family were skinny. My dad's sisters, their ankles were about that big. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother's side was the same. And so I'd never really given any thought to uh, how, how does genetics play into weight and weight gain? Well, I think, you know, individually we have certain body shapes. And those body shapes are passed down genetically. You know, if I go back and you know, my history, I can look back at grandparents and great-grandparents on my mother's side, all of whom were very, very obese. And my mother, as a matter of fact, um, probably weighed 425 pounds most of her adult life. Um, and yet, she lived to be 86 years of age, and uh, all of her brothers and sisters were overweight. Her mother was overweight, her father was overweight. So the, the genetics plays a big role. In, but what kind of what diet did y'all have growing up? <laughs> we had the typical southern diet, fried <laughs> chicken, you know, anything else the you best. could. <laughs> the best. You know, the best food you could possibly eat. And, of course, they loved to eat it. And, and it was a typical family, you know. <laughs> my, my mom was from England. And, and, excuse me, but they're not known to be the greatest cooks mm -hmm. in the world. No, they're and not. And so we ate in order to live. Mm -hmm. I married a preacher from Arkansas. And I learned how you can really have a love affair with food. Uh, his mother, I mean, she was just the greatest, and, and it was the kind of fare that you uh, talked about. And I'm sure that your mother's generation and all, they didn't think that much about it. They just well, ate what everybody <clears throat> ate. And it, it's, it's, I just visited my last remaining aunt uh, this past weekend. Uh, she's 90. And the very first thing she says to me, she says, you gained a couple pounds. And so throughout my life, mm -hmm. one, either sisters talking, my aunts talking to each other, they, they were all talking about weight. They mm -hmm. were all very conscious of it. Mm -hmm. um, two of my aunts had bypass surgeries, uh, bari you know, the bariatric mm -hmm. surgeries. Two of them had that. So they were conscious about it. but. 
you know, lifestyle plays a big role. Absolutely. And and your and the way you were raised and the foods that you ate when you were raised plays a big role in who you are and what yeah. your habits are. And so you have a genetic predisposition. Yeah. And then you have a cultural or an ethnic uh, predisposition, basically, that's learned. And if, you know, if both of those play off of each other, then obesity is an enormous difficulty. Yeah, and it's, it's, a, it's a good thing for people to look at that and consider it. I want to move ahead uh, to um, the Young Power Shake, which uh, we want our viewers to know about. We have um, advertised it many times, told people about it. But there's something very powerful when you bring a testimony on. And uh, so Dr. Young introduced this product to you because I know that you offer it. And uh, we want to put uh, doc, uh, Mr. Wheeler's website up. And um, you can go there. And when you do, it, it's very obvious that you believe in the Young Power Shake and, and promote it. Uh, did you look at it uh, dubiously or? I would say cynically, skeptically. <laughs> all I, the above. All of them. I, I looked at it and I, as I said earlier, I, I was really just kind of placating John and, and trying to get him off my back mm -hmm. um, by agreeing to uh, pay any attention to the literature and what he was suggesting. And with the full expectation that I would go back to John and say, listen, John, I appreciate your sincerity, mm -hmm. but I, I just think you're absolutely way mm -hmm. out of line here. And what I discovered was that I really needed to reach, change my, you know, to change my thinking about it and to uh, go back and eat crow and tell John, well, mm -hmm. okay, you were right. The thing that impressed me about this issue was that while I was cynical, the one thing that impressed me and the reason why I agreed to do it was because I, I know John, Dr. Young, to be a man of integrity. Yes. And I knew him to be a man of sincerity. And I knew that, I knew that he wouldn't be promoting this if in fact he really didn't fully believe it. Mm -hmm. And so that played a big role for me as to why I would go right ahead and look at it. And what I discovered was he was right. What did you first notice after you started taking it? Well, that's interesting. Within 10 days, what I noticed was a significant, and I mean a significant decrease in my pain level. Um, I would, at the time that I was doing uh, as started, I, I perceived basically about an 80 or a 90 percent drop in my pain level. The other That's thing that's interesting because you said you had aches and pains. Yeah, I think oh, a lot of much. people really do relate to that, and they don't they don't give it that much thought, but they just know they don't feel great. There's a lot of people who have you know chronic pain syndromes that have fibromyalgia, things of that mm -hmm. nature, and I think that they could be benefited by that mm -hmm. uh, by the power shakes. So that was the very first thing that mm -hmm. I noticed. Um, then Let's the, check them off. What about the migraines? <laughs> well, that was the second thing that I noticed. I stopped having migraines. And um, I, was, I would have, I've had migraine headaches since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. and, and they've changed and they're different. Sometimes they're what we call an ocular migraine or a, vis, a visual migraine. Mm -hmm. Where you, where you have an episode of um, uh, transient blindness or partial blindness, which in my case was followed always by significant and severe fatigue, profound fatigue. Sometimes it would lead into a major actual painful headache. But those stopped. I was having those once a week, maybe twice wow. a week. Um, and, and they just stopped. And you, you're not into taking meds, so you, no, I don't you took no meds for that. No. And well, I did, I did take one medication for it on occasion, but I'm not a very good pill taker. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think we should take meds unless you absolutely have to take them. Yeah. You know, if you just joined us, I'm talking to John Wheeler, who is a, got to look at it, an advanced registered nurse practitioner, and he has quite a quite a clientele of his own. You can check that out on his website. And we're talking about the Young Power Shake. So many of our viewers know about it and do order it. 
And from time to time, I like to bring on these, what I consider powerful testimonies. And so far, this one is very, very impressive because I have a sense that a lot of you out there, a lot of you deal with migraines and aches and pains. You don't know where they come from. You just learn to live with them. And so um, that's exactly what we are talking about. And um, so I want you to stay tuned so that you can uh, get all the information as to how you can order it. Because I know that you, uh, Mr. Wheeler, you offer it in your, your practice. You are that sold on. The one thing that I've wondered about, because we've had awesome testimonies on here, uh, even a juvenile onset diabetic who was greatly improved, uh, and then a type 2 diabetes where they don't take any meds anymore. But the thing that's really um, presented a question to me is weight loss. We've, we've had several with weight loss. How does that, how does that jive with the, with the shake? Well, quite well, actually. I, I use the product in my clinic in two ways. I use it for weight loss and weight gain. I have... <laughs> That's <laughs> I, a first. <laughs> well, well, truly, when you think about it, you know, there's, unfortunately, there are some patients who come in and have a, um, a malnourishment or they have a malabsorption syndrome where they're really not uh, absorbing the nutrients mm -hmm. that they need. They have some issues. Or, you know, they are suffering with cancer and their appetite is down and they're, they're losing weight. Uh, so I use it as a supplement for those folks to mm -hmm. try to get them, you know, to stabilize their weight or to gain weight. There are some people who come in who just, not, who just the opposite of me and my family, where they, they struggle desperately to put on weight. Um, and so I use the power shake for them and it, as a supplement and it works. For the weight loss, well, you also use it as a, um, uh, a meal uh, replacement. replacement. And that's what I did. Mm -hmm. and, um, and in my clinic, I used it for that and, and I've had good success with that. I'm, I'm curious as to what do you put in yours? Well, I, I start off with a, um, a, a powdered vitamin, the Olaloa powdered vitamin. I add the protein. Uh, I then add a, um, it depends on what brand it is, but basically an, an unsweetened uh, strawberry yogurt happens to be my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. So I put a little cup of yogurt in there. Um, and then I will use uh, almond milk. Mm -hmm. And I'll put in about six to eight ounces of almond milk. I don't measure it anymore. I just pour it because I've done it so long now. Uh, then I put in uh, some uh, vitamin D. I put in a tablespoon of uh, fish seed, uh, uh, pardon me, a uh, fish oil, flaxseed <laughs> oil mix. And uh, I also add a little bit of a stevia elixir to it. That's yeah, how I make it. Uh, beautiful thing about it is when it comes to you, it's about three ingredients and, and then, then you can go on from there. Right. I had one this morning with uh, blueberries and banana and then the things that come with it. Uh, that's one of the real selling points. Now, how much weight have you lost? I really don't know. Oh. Uh, I, I never weighed myself. What I was more interested in, what was my pant size? Uh -huh. <laughs> because I was wearing, at the time that I started, which was in August of uh, 2010, I was wearing a size 54 pants. And when I was in the military many years ago, I was wearing size 36. So my goal was to get down to a size 36. Uh, pants. Well, I accomplished that goal in um, March of 2012. Mm -hmm. So from August 2010 to March of 2012, wow. I lost from a size 54 down to a size 36, and I felt marvelous. Now, at this point, I have stabilized at a size 38. So we'll uh, give you that. You let me have that. I well, now how tall are you? Because he's a big guy. <laughs> I'm 6'4. Yeah. Yeah. But I still don't know how much I weigh because I, I uh -huh. just, I'm, I'm not, that's not my interest. My interest is what my pant size is. Uh, well, what I, what I learned about you and uh, like you do not recommend the, is it bariatric? The bariatric surgeries. Yeah, and, and if you go on his website, he'll, there's some reasons why, which are very, very sound. Um, and you, you don't prescribe a whole lot of meds. You know, you were already there. 
And then when you, Ms. Uh, Dr. Young comes in, um, it looks to me like it, it just added something to kind of the direction you were in anyway. Well, you know, w when you say I don't prescribe med, I do prescribe medications every day. Um, but I don't do it for diets. That's one thing I'm absolutely opposed to. Yeah, that's to. right. That's, uh, yeah. I, I just think that, that diet pills are horrible. And I don't use them, and I've lost, you know, patients because of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, but I do prescribe medications for diabetes, high blood pressure, other issues, mm -hmm. you know, medical problems. The, <clears throat> the thing that, that I look at for um, the weight loss is basically nutrition. Now, when it comes to bariatric surgery, I don't recommend bariatric surgery except in very serious conditions. And there are some people who come in and weigh 550 to 600 pounds, mm -hmm. and they're never going to do anything uh, with a significant weight loss, no matter what you do nutritionally. They need it, that jump start. Yeah, and so there are certain people that I would say, you know, the, the benefit of doing the surgery outweighs the risk of doing the surgery. But most people are not in that, you know, situation. Mm -hmm. They're not 600 pounds. You know, they're 250, they're 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. And they'd be better off approaching weight loss by simple nutritional changes in their diet. How would you describe the difference before the shake and now that you've taken it for many months? For me? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been awesome. I, I mean, you know, unless you have ever suffered from a migraine headache, yeah. uh, just the fact that you don't have them. Now, I do have occasionally a migraine headache, but I don't have anything. Like, the fact that you so don't you have, have one those, a week, that's... no, I've had as many Woo. as three in a day. Um, and those things are, are difficult. They're very difficult. They're and that's a, pleasant, that's a pleasant relief. Yeah. Uh, the, the pain relief is good too. Now, I, I won't tell anybody that they're going to take the power shake and they're going to be pain free. Mm -hmm. It's just not, it's it's not realistic. I mean, you know, I said earlier that I, I had about an eighty percent decrease in pain level, but you know, that's significant. Yeah, it is. Well, but you know, there's there is the, the second law of thermodynamics is called entropy. Is that everything wears out? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> even the human body, <laughs> even the human body. And you're, you're not going to get through this life without some aches and pains. Right. But we do want to give those things that can improve and sustain uh, right. a good level of health. Um, we're just about out of time, but I uh, what kind of feedback have you gotten from some of your clients who have begun to take it? Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I have I use the diet, as I said, for a number of different reasons. And I've had people who are diabetic who mm -hmm. have reduced their insulin levels by significant amounts. Uh -huh. Had people who have been on the weight loss and they've lost weight significantly. And then you have, you know, the, 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 the common report is that they just feel better. Mm -hmm. They just feel better. And, I, and it, ha it happens, you know, I had, a, a, to give you an example, a patient comes in and they started the weight program and the first thing that they came back to me and says, my shoulders don't hurt anymore. So, <laughs> you that's know. That's great news. It <laughs> is. So it's those kind of things that you, you hear frequently. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, the biggest benefit that I see to it, other than the way we feel, is the fact that I can get people reducing on their diabetic medications because mm -hmm. their blood sugars are now in better control. I can get people to reduce their hypertension medications because that's better wow. controlled. And so I can get people to stop taking their statin drugs mm -hmm. because their cholesterols are in yeah, normal that's, range. that's majorly. And so all these yeah. things play into a great deal of benefit to them. Well, I want to thank you for this uh, wonderful testimony coming from someone highly educated in the medical field. And I, I think that just adds some real credibility to it and I appreciate you coming in. Tell it's us been all about my pleasure. It. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you stay with me. I have a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye.
Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Well, I am certain that you found that very interesting and enlightening, and I hope you paid attention to the telephone number, which we'll, we will leave up for the rest of the program. I met Dr. Young just a few years ago, and the route I took to the uh, Young Power Shake was that I had read about a German doctor, a lady, about 1920, uh, who had come up with a combination of fat and protein that seemed to help her cancer patients a great deal. And so I was already aware of that. Her name was Johanna Budwig. Well, come to find out after I met Dr. Young that uh, he was also someone very interested in uh, Dr. Budwig and had read uh, her findings. And uh, so actually this shake is a combination of what she came up with. It's not a brand new idea. That's one thing I like about Dr. Young is he tells me he's always going to go back and see what the old guys did. I like that. I think that's great. Instead of always looking for the next pharmaceutical, the next drug, and sometimes 10 years down the road they find out the kind of side effects it had. And so that was my introduction to the Young Power Shake when I already knew about the, the chemistry in it. Well, I have taken it uh, myself just regularly, and I hope that you've seen some of the other folks I've had on besides Dr. Wheeler. I thought that was an amazing, amazing story about migraines and obesity and, and uh, aches and pains. Uh, that takes in a lot of folks. But also I've had others, I've had parents of children who took the shake and the outcome was just unbelievable. So I hope you'll take advantage of it. That phone number will take you right to someone who can take your order. And as I mentioned at the top of the program, when you do that, it does help the program. But honestly, I would take this shake whether it helped us or not. That's the way I feel about it. So I hope that you'll take all that to heart and I hope also that you will join me next time Remembering there is no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you should miss a homekeeper's program, you can catch up by going to www.ctnonline.com. Click on CTN Programs and then on Homekeepers.